<clears throat> Okie dokie, what was I doing? Right, yes. Bonk was taking on the greater vault full of giants. Yeah, that's what it was. Well, nothing to do but to get right into it. Gotta murder these giants. Yeah, more, more, more giants than you could shake a stick at. Giants that are gonna give us powerful items. Hello, Comet Code and Mastaza. Uh, Shambling Mound. Okay. I'm just gonna let all this stuff pile up, and I'm gonna do it by dropping everything. Picking up all of this stuff. Dropping it all here. Uh, is anything looking immediately good? What is, what is can I, hmm, hmm, hmm. I want to look up for Morian Giant to see what the strength cap on it is. Below 30, so it could happen. And I did have, yeah, more giant corpses, so we'll eat them. It's going to ruin our appearance. But I have ways around that. So we're going to eat some of this Stoma Septia. And then eat uh, our lump of Jelly Royale. And that should bump our appearance up from 11. Ah, oh, it didn't. I should have blessed it. Oh well. Appearance is not that important. All it really does is... Uh, determines how uh, it more important than it used to be because now how much corruption you accrue depends on your appearance. I'm back here, E Rep Scallion. If they run away, that makes uh, shooting them in the back harder. Okay, that guy... We can run away for a moment. We'll put on our cloak of defense. I don't have any healing spells, do I? But I can teleport and frostbolt. Okay, let's run away. Almost died. Do I have any extra healing? I do. Do I have any ultra healing? I don't. So we are going to dip our... Yeah, we're going to drink some of these extra healing potions. Because if we bless them, they'll also raise our maximum hit point count. Ta da Okay, so some of these guys are no jokes. There we go. He picked up a fair amount of stuff for me, so we'll leave them here. Ah, hmm. I could come back later when I'm more powerful. And I think that is what we are going to do. The monsters... Oh god, there's a Moloch. Um, okay, the Moloch was not that scary. 
So we're going to come back later after we've grown more powerful. Quarterstaff, though. The only question is, do I want to... Uh, no, I want to collect the treasures before leaving. We can take on one fire giant king at a time. Get all the giants here. Don't know what I'm coming over here for. I want to go down one more layer. Okay. We're going to fight you defensively. On the stairs. Okay, that works much better. If I fight them defensively, they have a harder time hitting me. Okay, I've got the... I had the... Tactic set to very defensive there. So let's go collect all of the treasure. There's another one. I don't know if they can see invisible, so we're going to... We get more experience if we're not... if we're visible. Okay, so we solved these guys. Also, they are... If they don't shrug this... Oh. They're fire giants, so they take a lot of damage to my frost bolt I have. Whereas the frost yarl here is... Immune to ice. Let's go try to collect all of the treasure. Okay. Was it here? I also believe I dropped some stuff. Not over here. Okay. I could convert that altar, but Yeti. So we're not a wizard, but we're making use of our wizardly... We can also line them up. Multi-shot. Hey, level up. What do we want? Probably detect tra- I want climbing. The payoff for, for climbing is going to be very lame, but nonetheless, it will be a payoff. So many frost giants, from fire giants. Ring of Invisibility. Okay, now let's look at our loot. Yeti. Pick up all that garbage. And we're just going to pick up all of it, even the rocks, even though there's zero reason to pick up the rocks. We're going to drop everything of unknown status. I'm going to drop everything. And I'm going to pick up anything I don't know. I don't I don't have identified. Which I know what most of this stuff does. Not murky potion. Okay. 
So I'm going to dip my scrolls of identify. Yeah, we're going to dip our scrolls of identify. Actually, I kind of feel like converting that altar over there. That could hurt my alignment, though, because I'd have to convert it to neutral, then have to convert it to lawful. So, okay. We are just going to bless our identify potion, our scrolls, and reading them. And see what we've got. Boots of the Far Wanderer. Those are very good. These are... Are these what I... No, I'm thinking of Boots of the Divine Messenger. Let me look up and see what these are. Boots of the Far Wanderer. These are definitely an artifact of boots, though. Oh ho! So these boots do something special. We're definitely going to be using them, but uh, they are artifact boots. In fact, I'll use a... I've got so many sc scrolls of great identify and they're worthless, so I'll just blow one on it. As exciting as Adamantium Rapier of Damnation sounds, it isn't that exciting. Mace of Destruction would be a great... Wow, look at that Mace of Destruction. Plus five on the, uh, to attack. That's quite nasty. It's a very good Mace of Destruction. If we hadn't found a Eternium Longsword of Penetration, that would definitely be our weapon. Uncursed Gleaming Drakish Skurgar Devil Bane. Okay, another artifact. Quickling Blood and Troll Blood are both good. Gain Attributes, very good. We got a scroll of corruption removal. That's incredibly powerful. We need those. We desperately need those. Okay. And we're going to drop all of our rocks. And we're... Oh, we don't. We only have the Drakish Skrugar Devil Bane. Ooh, Toot Dove Damnation means it should send monsters directly to hell when you kill them. That'd be pretty good. Okay, so we're going to read our Scrolls of Great Identify on our Skurgar. When used in melee, it grants plus 10 to hit and causes 2d7 to... When used as a missile, it grants 15 to hit and causes it. It's a Demon Slayer and returns when thrown. How does that compare to the Rune-Covered Trident? I think this is probably worse than the rune cover trident. 2d8 plus 9. This is 3d12 3d12 plus 6. We don't get the dexterity bonus because we're not wielding it as a weapon. I don't actually know the damage rune cover trident. We'll try it out for a while though. Okay, screw. I mean, we have one more to read. Our boots of the far wanderer. Artifact boots. Modify defense value by plus four and prevention value by two. Yeah, you can hit people with them. Modify your willpower by seven. Modify your speed by seven. Grant resistance to sleep. Grant teleportation powers. Allow you to control teleportation. Grant the ability to breathe underwater. Now, what Grant Teleportation Power means is these are, this is, they are teleportitis. We will teleport randomly while wearing the boots. However, because we can control teleportation, that makes them very useful. Basically, we get random free teleports. Oh, you're here. I... Didn't, I, I didn't catch the Skugar when I threw it. I pick up the sling just in case it's whirlwind. Uh, 
Okay, we're just gonna use our magic. Amber Amulet. Okay, and Huge Rock isn't a anything special. Okay, we didn't. Our skill with Scugars is low, so we're not going to be catching it that much. I'm thinking... Oh, here's our free teleport. I'm thinking this is probably not as good as Rune Cover Trident. Regular broadsword, huh? However, these jerks are going to be great for training our... Skugar with. It's going to hold down T and it's going to shoot to the person and it's going to hit the first person that comes across. Okay, we didn't catch our Skugar. All these, these, these guys throw rocks, which means I have to, they drop slings. But because they drop slings, it could be, there's an artifact sling. So I have to pick up all these worthless slings. And you can kind of tell by weight what something is going to be. These Formorian Giants are not threatening. I just hold down T. Oh, that could have got me killed. The game will happily let you just input commands until you die. Iron Boots aren't anything... I'm gonna stop eating Formorian corpses because I don't want to drop my appearance below 10. my skill with Skugars. Skilled. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how impressed I should be as it as a thrown weapon because unless its range is better than the rune cover trident. Because the rune cover trident also slays demons. Okay. Somebody threw a rock at me. pick up mithril blue dragon scale mail that's actually really good because um although we have we have a ring of elemental mastery so it's not actually that good okay here's some ogre lords let me read about devil bane Okay, when Rune Cover Trident is used as a missile, it gives plus 2 to hit and 3d8 plus 4. And this is 2d8 plus 9. But plus 15 to hit? What the actual hell is a Skurgar? Um, they're like a, a metal boomerang. Most of them... Boomerangs are in the game, and they don't return when thrown. Or, no, Skugars don't. But Boomerangs do. 
just a generic boomerang will or return when thrown. Um, cheap cloak. I think that's just a regular old. I think that cheap cloak is just regular old cloak of invisibility or similar. What's our Skugar skill up to now? Skilled! So it's two levels below thrown spears. But this has a better ra I think it has a better range and is more accurate than the rune cover trident. Let's throw him our metal boomerang. At these jerks. I destroyed a potion. So we have lots of monsters to kill. I picked up I picked up some candy. Eat that hearthling bread. None of these man, they are they're dropping a lot of broadswords. The other thing the Rune Covered Trident has over this is that this only slays demons, whereas Rune Covered Trident also slays undead. Which means it gets critical hits against undeads much easier than. at my free teleport. And I think slaying powers also mean you do more damage on. I want to. I have to pick up these armor because I don't remember. Who are you? Stone Giant Lord. You're not giants. You're just a giant lord. Okay, I did put that back. Um, pick these up. Stone Giant Lord Corpse. That'll be fun. Let's eat that. Does not do anything. Oh, 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 here comes a special boy. Okay, just a titan. Okay. Thought, oh, we might have a problem here. I don't know if I can kill a Titan yet. foolish what I'm doing right here. Whew. Okay. Just a titan, but that's that's still by far the most threatening enemy we've faced so far. It's just that guy. I'm tempted to pick up that heavy cudgel. And that club. I 
I'll eat that ogre lord. Sure. Hooray! We got an automatic heat. We, we learned some healing spells. What's my stealth at? If I don't have the stealth skill, then all of the points I've been putting into climbing are for nothing. And it looks like I don't have the stealth skill, which is quite, quite humorous. See how much magic we got. We got a hundred points, casting points of slow poison, calm monster, cure disease, cure light wounds. Yeah, let's let's retreat a little bit and just fight these normal uh, coward monsters. Cause that titan was scary. I should probably give you the time of day as well. This stone giant, though, I don't really, I'm not really afraid of. Frog legs. Wait, how do I know those gauntlets are cursed? And I don't have the stealth skill. Why don't I have the stealth skill? That's weird. Okay, heap of two slings I don't have to pick up. Scrolls, I like. That's... We can drop heap of two slings. Because those cannot be special. In fact, let's, uh, let's run away for now. There were some guys up here we can kill while our health comes back. That ring for fun. No grain ring is worthless. It's a wedding ring. So we just sit here and chill until my HP comes back. There's an Eternium dagger. I might be able to close and lock these doors, but these guys can break down doors. Case in point. Just sit here and regener regenerate for a while. Those could be red dragon gloves, but they're not... Red Dragon gloves are not use, super useful right now. But now, we can get back to the fight. Because there's still a fair amount of this left. I'm expecting to have to fight one more monster as threatening as... That Titan. But here we just got Ogre Lords, which are not very threatening at all. There it is! Silvery Arrow! So we've... We're getting all these ranged weapons. Okay, so we're gonna equip just... I don't really have that good of a bow, so it's just gonna be short bow. And we're going to equip Silvery Arrow, and we're going to shoot this guy with it. True Aim! True Aim is... Um... Okay. It's not what I would want. I think the one I would want would be Sunstroke or something. 
No, Sun's messenger is the is a bow. I don't think True Aim does anything other than do a lot of damage and be really accurate. Let me look up. No? Okay. So yeah, this is the most powerful non-slaying arrow in the game. And it returns when fired. So I just get- I keep getting all of the- another- okay. I get these rings of slaying as well. Am I wearing one of those already? Yes, I am. So, how am I, what's my bow skill? It's okay. We're gonna have to get it higher. This is really good because, um, yeah, that can still happen where you, you fail to, to pick it, where you fail to pick it up. My dexterity were higher or able to be higher. We could be quite a little archer with our very powerful bow, very powerful arrow rather. Pick those up. But our dexterity being so low actually is why the arrow fails to return a fair amount. There's some there's some crystal mail. Some crystal Pepsi. Yeah, crystal scale mail. That would be powerful a million years ago, but that's just normal plate mail, I think. I'll pick it up anyways. This Parian's plate is a much is much lighter, I recall. away some. Somebody got a lucky shot at me. Yeah, but see the teleporting ability, very useful with a ranged weapon. Lots of treasure here. Ring of searching is vi is virtually useless, but I'll pick it up because I can sell it. Yeah, we're from the work from the basic level short bow. We are firing the legendary arrow, and we we have crappy decks. up that long spear, just now pick up that dagger. Although I really don't need phase daggers anymore. Due to my having a pff, Eternium long sword of penetration. See if I can trick shot it. Nope. There we go. Okay. Pick up the two-handed swords just for to see if what kind of artifacts I can get. Ninety thousand uh, gold is a lot of gold. Is that mine, or did I did a monster just drop a nice round number of gold? 
I have some imported bottled wine from uh, bottled wine from the 16th century, but I'm drinking it out of a solo cup. <laughs> okay, I'll eat that ogre lord. I think. We've cleared out the Greater Vault. And our haul mostly was the boots, but the arrow is also quite nice. The Skugar... Could go either way on, on it, honestly. It wasn't offering anything new. It was just offering much the same. That could be Skull Crusher. Actually, now I have to pick up that Quarrel. Quarrel on its own could be... Well, Quarrel on its own could be Thunderstroke, the silvery arrow but for crossbows. Alright, chop them up. What's our bow skill at now? Skilled. Do I have anything else I want to identify? Well, one thing I can do... How many scrolls of identify do I have? Three. I'm gonna pick up everything. And pick up everything and just identify all of it, even if it's just to see what's the garbage and what isn't. Here's some more monsters. Suddenly there's dragons. I'll eat that first. Actually, I want to eat uh, Stoma Septia first. The boots can't possibly be anything good, but I'll pick them up anyways. I could also pick... Those aren't close on special clothes. And that's the crystal scale now. have an identify party with all this garbage and I'm probably just going to leave all of the stuff I don't want here hearing a distant wind means that there's a vortex but we are immune to elements so I don't care ooh well potential strength our strength potential is already quite high Okay, so let's read another scroll of, ad of identify. Take another look. And we'll drop all the garbage. Don't really need this Helm of Water Breathing anymore because it's... Um, actually, if I'm not... I'm strained, but I can I can save all my stuff. I can drop the stuff that won't be worth anything. Okay, that cursed helmet of beauty won't be. Ugly clothes. We've got red dragon scale. We already had the blue dragon scale. Mail offers resistance to or immunity to lightning. And yeah, that's just normal polite mail. Close of balance. That just means you, it takes you towards true neutral when you wear it. Some wooden shields I picked up. That blessed tower Eternium shield might be worth using. Oh ho! Gauntlets of Peace. Gauntlets of Peace curse when you put them on. 
and um, they they usually grant pretty strong defensive abilities, but give you minus fifteen to hit, minus fifteen to damage. They're why gauntlets. You should never put on gauntlets. Those blue and red leather gauntlets are actually quite powerful. Uh, adornment, don't care. That Girdle of Greed is actually good. I've never You rarely see Girdles of Greed with uh, anything on them. The Mithril Boots would be worth something, but none of the rest will be. Boots of Sneakiness are usually alright. Teleport control. Amulet of the Cursed Hearts Rusty, so I'll drop it. Okay. A Murderous Whip. Just an Orcish Dagger. Yeah, just broadswords aren't very good. Yellow broadsword means it gives you res uh, resistance to lightning. Saber of Might. What the hell is a Black Whip of Extinction? It's an artifact weapon. Okay, we'll learn more about it. It doesn't look that impressive. It'll be funny if we start using a whip, though. Uh, frozen adamantium dagger. That's probably worth keeping. The mythical daggers aren't. S lots of staves. Lots of worthless slings. Although some pretty good slings, too. I'll drop the heavy crossbow. I'd rather use that light crossbow of accuracy. Any arrow, any missile that is not special gets tossed. Yeah, Bonk doesn't care about being beautiful. Hunting, Construct Sling... Just Lead Sling Bullets? Don't care about. Mithril Quarrels, maybe. Arrows? No, don't need those anymore. Throwing Club of Death! Hello, Freighter 5! You missed us clearing out the... Uh, the Greater Vault down here in the Frost Jarl Caves. Don't need any rocks. And that Spear of Returning is just worse than our very good spear. Don't need Bandage. Don't need Fletch Reset. The torches, weirdly enough, could be useful. I'll keep all the wands, even though I should get down on them. Ocean of Balance is way beyond its time. Time to drop all this candy. Candy abuses your strength when you eat it. Or your toughness, rather. Don't need any of these garbages. I'll drop the worthless glass, but everything else I can keep. Okay. So we got quite the haul. Let's learn about the Whip of Extinction. It is an artifact. 
Minus four to hit and calls and causes two d five points of damage. When uses a missile, it grants plus ten and bonus to it and causes one. Mm -hmm. Slays dragons, undead, unlife on life as constructs, humanoids, giants, plants, demons, and jellies. Uh, this seems to slay everything. Um, I'm gonna give it a try. Okay. Let's drop that other whip. So we're gonna try our whip. Our whip of extinction. You feel like this is a normal vault. Let's lure this guy up. And we'll whip him. Do this slay giants? You bring up the wiki. Yep, it slays giants. Okay. So this is just a normal vault. So we'll see how good our whip goes. This is the one th bad thing about this camera, is that sometimes the text log goes over. Plus it makes a good noise. Of course, our sword skill was really high, so our, it's going to take a while for our whips to get up to, to yeah, our sword skill is rank 11, um, our whips are rank 4. So, as we get better at... So the base damage seems pretty low. My teleport boots are going crazy. Maybe this isn't as good for us because we are just, um... Let me read about whips. I've never used whips before. Oh, now I see the problem. This would be an extremely good weapon if our dexterity was 26 and our strength was 14. Because uh, dex... I'm going to go to this mode for now. Because whips appear to use uh, dexterity for damage. And are the only thing that use The only melee weapon that uh, uses decks for damage. So we're just going to chop up our... use our piercing weapon. Our, our very powerful sword. Although I was going to train up my bow. Okay. Slaying weapons are also less required for us. Because we have very high find weakness skill, which means we can get critical hits anyways. But slaying ammo is always useful, no matter what. Or, so, slaying powers are... Okay, there's a gray dagger. It's a phase dagger. Not incredibly useful because our sword is just a giant phase dagger. Yes, this is a normal giant vault. There's always one on this level because of our quest. We came here to kill a named Frost Jarl, and there he is. Hagar the Horrible. You can read this if you want. We know a lot about Frost Jarls because we've killed a lot of them. Oh, I dropped my arrow. Let's just chop him up. 
And... Quest completed. Gauntlets are not worth picking up. I've never had good gauntlets. They've all... Occasionally, there are, there are artifact gauntlets, but there are the elemental gauntlets, but also an artifact version of the Gauntlets of Peace. Okie dokie. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna eat this dwarven sausage. It's gauntlets of no bullying. Yes. There are some le uh, some artifacts worth using, even though they curse as soon as you put them on. But Shezeroriax or whatever it's called, the major gauntlets of peace are not one of those weapons. Chomp them up. Okay, our bows are probably going to stay at skilled for a while. I should take the time to level it up whenever I can. It feels like there should be something else on this level. But we've accomplished what we came here for. Yeah, the purple trap I fell for was a corruption track. They corrupt you. They're not that dangerous, but they can be very dangerous in the early game, not because bidding, getting corrupted is especially bad in the early game, but because they'll turn monsters into writhing masses of primal chaos, which are very bad news if you're a new, if you're a you know, low-level character. Because the final gauntlet of the game has a whole bunch of uh, writhing masses of primal chaos. Don't need any of those, even if Skull Dagger is a very good uh, accessory, it's not a very good weapon. Free teleports from the government. Let's head on back. It's getting about time for us to do the Tower of Eternal Flames, which I'm not looking forward to. Let's drop all this wasser. Who would want to bake herding bread? Not me. Don't know who would want to make herding bread. I'm just going to drop all of my garbage and then pick up what I want to use. Don't need the Helm of Water Breathing anymore. I'll try out the Scale Mail. How's that shield compared to mine? Favorably. Goodbye, Rolf's shield. just adamant rotting scale mail rotting scale mail means you'll drop maggots off your body every once in a while I'll take these it's usually worth carrying around some thick gauntlets with you just in case you end up with some if you end up with poison hands which is a a uh, a curse a corruption yeah so we got a whole bunch of let me just identify these real quick 
Yep, phase dagger. It's an adamantium mace. Okay. Picking up my stuff I want to keep with me. I'll keep that sling. And the crossbows. My... Man, I really don't have a best bow. I just have bows. I'll be... picky about the stuff I want to bring with me this time. Like, I'm not going to bring any of the jelly slaying stuff with me. Just bringing my useful slaying ammo. I'll bring Devil Bane with me in case I fight demons. Giant slaying ammo is very good. <laughs> Prepare yourself to face Satan's panini, mortal! <laughs> Yes, giant slaying ammo is very useful because of uh, how scared I was of that titan. There's such a monster called Greater Titans, which are those titans, but greater. Bring these with me. Don't ever want those rings of invisibility, I don't think. I'll bring another ring of slaying with me for fun. Just bring all of the wands. Because they're light, and I don't know which ones I want, and it would take a long time to manage that. I'll probably try doing that off camera at some point, but for now. Poshies. Don't need Burzio, don't need Cure Poison. Rust removal isn't that useful, because all of our stuff. If we get a Sword of Sharpness, then Rust removal is a useful potion, but we don't have a Sword of Sharpness. Potions of Blindness are great. I think Potion of Balance wouldn't do anything. Potions of Cure Poison are actually pretty useful. Cursed Potions of Invisibility are actually fairly useful. They confuse monsters you throw them at. I wonder if Stun Recovery Potions that are cursed do the same thing. I'll try that. Then I've got potions I should just drink. I'll probably read some of these scrolls of stuff. I'm gonna leave my scroll of corruption removal just here. Okay, I don't have scrolls of increased melee damage. I might have some back at Dwarf Town. Which means if I'm going back to Dwarf Town, I'm gonna drop all of that. Bring all of this. I won't need any of that where I'm going. However, I will need the lizards. Those I will need. I need my 179 cooked lizards. Scroll of Dark Predictions, I don't remember what even do, but they don't do anything useful. Come here, you.
Do I have a light? I don't have a light. Sure, patience of booze. So I'm going back to Dwarf Town to go sell a bunch of crap. Oh god, no 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 no. Okay. Woof. The automatically go down macro got very confused because of all these worms. <laughs> so uh the tr I th I don't even think I tried pacifying this level with worms. Just there happened to be friendly worms and they bred and m they keep extra monsters from spawning because they fill all the available space. There's so many worms. Okay, Dwarf Town. Don't think there's anything here I want. There's a staff of hair loss. Okay, let's make some money, which means I want to put on my Helm of Leadership to get better prices. I think I can sell the Helm of Water Breathing because I have boots that give water breathing. Okay, let's just sell all of our stuff. We're probably going to run them out of money. Overloaded on worms. Sell the cloak, sell the boots. Sell some of the lamer. Amulet of Perseverance could ever be useful, weirdly enough. Sell some of these pickaxes. I'll keep the Mace of Destruction for you, so why not? Don't sell the Whip of Extinction. Let's just see how much of this I can get away with selling before he runs out of money. Man, highly charismatic dwarves get really good prices. Okay. We're still we still got more stuff though. I'll sell the fluff ball. I'll come by and get, I'll sell the single use of flint and steel. Although I don't have any, t I, I don't have any other ones. Um, sell those, sell the rings of damage, sell the ring of stun resist. I keep the potions even if they're not useful. Same with the scrolls. Okay. I leave any treasure up here? I didn't. Yeah, we have a lot of money. What can I use my money for? Let's go get a point of perception by going over here and going to Garth. Hello, Garth. Train my perception. I will give you 6,001 guilders for it. And that'll likely make our perception go up. 
Just kind of scattering my artifacts I don't want to use down here. I should probably keep Rolf's Savior with me. And, yeah, I'll keep Rolf's Savior and Rolf's Companion with me. We'll drop the Whip of Extinction. And the Scorched Spear. The Mace of Destruction is not an artifact, but... What else do we got? We got Kalmus's shield and the sword of Nanak and the black torque. Bunch of C's. A writing set. Scrolls of increased melee garbage. And a bunch of money. Okay. Let's see if that'll if those scrolls will work. Get back to uh, relieving. <laughs> Artifacts demand their own map squares, even if they are kind of crappy. Uh, we are not playing net hack though. Murder that ogre. Okay, be wary of the worms. No, 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 stop. How do I make this stop? Okay, let me quickly look that up. Adam, how to cancel automatic movement. That's gonna own me. I can't kill these worms either because uh, they're friendly and that would make me not lawful anymore. <laughs> Menaced by friendly worms! If they were unfriendly worms, I would just kill them. But they're friendly, so I'm not allowed to kill them. That's how it is in this lawful land. Moitalize you. Okay, we're back here. I'll drop everything. However, I will pick up Rolf's Savior and Rolf's Companion. Actually, I want to go. I want to head back down. And I didn't do anything with my. I just dropped my garbage. I gotta pick up the stuff I want to use again. that potential strength. We don't actually need that. There we go. The increased melee damage is what I wanted. Because I can try using that on my sword. It's unlikely to work, but I'll try it anyways. Hmm, excuse me. I think everything else, the item detection can definitely come with us. Scroll of luck in case I get cursed. Lizards come with us. I guess I'll bring the pepper petals and spence weeds. The stoma stuff is useful. I'll bring the elven bread. Try to remember to eat them, actually. Ok, 
Okay. And then I want all of this stuff with me. And we're going to go down to the arena level. Which is fairly short. We won't be that much of a trip. How much of a game changer would it be if littering caused chaos? Ooh, that'd be pretty nasty. If it was like, um... If it was like some, but not all, of the Harvest Moon games, where you lost half a heart whenever you, uh... littered. The game also does not tell you that, most of the time. We're looking for this guy. Don't bother me unless you are armed with and shielded with stuff I can respect, says Nak Amdwar, the Dwarven Gladiator. Just so happens that we have such a thing. We've actually had them for a while. Let's use the Rolf's Companion and Rolf's Savior. They have say an antediluvian dwarf map fragment. We have one of these already. I left it at the front door. Now, for those at home who are trying to think, what the heck does that mean? Well, antediluvian is a highfalutin word that means before the great flood. Yes, Massasaw gets it right before I say it. Antediluvian means before the Great Flood. As in... Um... Noah... Flood. <laughs> Why would you feel silly for getting my trivia correct? So yeah, there are ancient... Rolf is an ancient dwarf who exists, who is very, who is from the ancient times, the Atlantean times, and we have some of his treasures. And there's a fair number of dwarves that are also ancient. I don't know if they're that ancient. I'll go ahead and pick, pick up the other fragment I have. There are six fragments in all. We have two of them. Some of them are in set locations. Uh, in fact, most of them are. One of them is random. Ah, uh, you know it from playing Vampire? Aha. Uh -huh. Speaking of, I'm gonna lock this door. There's no reason to do this in the dungeons. We'll do it out here. After being attacked by jackals. good archery training. Amulets of Greed are sadly not useful at all. Scroll of Identify is useful. Okay. There's still a hostile monster somewhere, but I don't care. We'll do it out in the woods. So we're going to take everything off. Gonna strip, strip nasty naked. Then we are going to equip our longsword. I dropped it. I want to equip it. We will read our scroll of increased melee damage. Turns to gray ash. Want to try that again? Your uncursed Eternium Longsword of Penetration glows in a red light. That gave us plus one damage. Okay. This thing's already pretty stacked. If I had up scrolls of increased melee accuracy, that'd be even better. And why not uh, bless my sword while I'm at it? That'll make it do more damage to undeads and demons. 
Also, bless our necklace of the eye, now that I'm floating in holy waters. Hmm. We look up what Girdles of Greed do again. I believe they increase your carrying capacity based on the amount of gold you're carrying. Yes, we'll bless that as well. Especially since this is this is a good these are this is a good gauntlet. Uh, yeah, good girdle. Good girdle, griddle, grapple. We'll dip that in holy water as well. Okay, yeah. Blessing the ga the the girdle of greed makes us so I don't have to wear the scale mail of carrying anymore, which means I can wear the red dragon scale mail. I'll wear the hooded coke for now. Slaying. Elemental Mastery. Racers of Speed. Blue Leather Gauntlets, why not? Still don't have a good bow. Let's test out these arrows. Humanoid Slaying's quite good. And Demon Slaying, okay, good arrows. And of course, we'll equip the orb. Okay. So, we're quite kitted out. We'll fight the hobgoblins. So I have to go back into the Caverns of Chaos. Because I don't want to do the Tower of Eternal Flames yet. Really, really want a... We do want this climbing set, though. I want... A specific... I can't go down the... I don't have climbing 100 yet, do I? Nope. That would let me do the rift. Don't want to fight the huge frogs. We have to go down here. So we're going to have to do this dungeon eventually, so why not do it now? Eat that goblin. So we're coming... This is the entryway to the Tomb of the High Kings. And we need the Ring of the High Kings to get past something called the Eternal Guardian later on. Which is actually after the Wall of Flames, which is guarded behind the Elemental Orb of Fire. But I really want a Mithril Ring before I do the Tower of Eternal Flames, otherwise it's going to destroy most of my equipment very quickly. Because I'm doing... I, I got Rolf's Savior. Alright, I had potions to do stuff with. Just drank that potential learning. Drink that troll blood. Drink the raw mana. That'll make our mana regenerate faster. Quickling blood will make a... Let's bless the quickling blood. Just use all of my holy water. Makes our speed faster. And go ahead and drink that potion of gain attributes. Makes all of our stuff go up. So we're quite spicy. Use our teleporting boots to go over here, I guess. I teleported into a wall, so it randomly assigned me somewhere. So these monsters are going to be comparatively baby mode compared to what I've been dealing with. 
So the reason I want a Mithril Ring... Oh, this, that's just a, okay, I destroyed the Quickling Lord. The reason I want a Mithril Ring is because... I don't... There's going to be a monster in the Tower of the Eternal Flames. The Ancient Chaos Worm. Who I do not want to stand toe to toe with. I want to kill it from a distance. Which I'm fairly well equipped to do. However, um, if I want to use my dragon and demon slaying ammunition, I'm going to have to use a bow. Because I would like to be farther away than the rune cover trident or. My Skugar could could let me be. But if I don't have a Ring of Ice, which is what a Mithril Ring is, uh, my equipment will be damaged by the heat every, every round that I'm in the Tower of Eternal Flames. And having a fireproof blanket will protect my stuff in my inventory. But I need a ring of ice to protect the stuff I'm wearing. So unless I find an artifact bow, my bows are going to get burnt to shreds just being in the Tower of Eternal Flames. Ah, uh, Eternium plate mail could be worth using if I have, uh, since I have the Ring of Elemental Mastery, it could be more effective than what I'm using currently. I'm giving myself bees. I'm giving myself bees. I'm a bee. Okay, round of arrows. Let's go over here and just chop up all these bees. Chop up the bees. Chopping up my bees, vivid mimmer bees, turn to fantas bees. Aha, there it is, the Jelly Royale. Could increase our appearance. So I kicked the hive there to make more bees spawn, but I must have kicked it hard enough to force every bee to spawn. Just chop some of these guys up. It's playing the cavernous level music because this is a cavernous level. Hi, Dora. Let's eat that fire giant just in case it gave us a strength up. We're unlikely to get stat ups from corpses anymore, just kind of as a general rule. our stats are getting so high. Basically the only... Okay, we lost a wand of paralyzation... Uh, item detection and a wand of paralyzation. That's unfortunate, but I had so many wands anyways. Who are you? Just a greater doppelganger. Okay. All the same... I'm going to put on two Rings of the Clear Mind. I don't know why this song has weird clickings in it. It's the song that has it. Okay. Doppelgangers can be some of the most scary monsters out there because they copy your stats. And much like other games, what players and monsters do is not on the same level. So a monster that has your two hit and damage and what have you. Ooh, a new kind of potion. That could be wonderful. Or it could be worthless. 
But the more and more items you uh, identify, the more exciting... Up! Oh, don't don't hit the karmic dragon. I have a I have a scroll of luck, so it wouldn't be world ending, but it would be unideal. Trident, probably nothing special, but I'll pick it up just because tridents are kind of un. Okay, there's nothing else for me here. Oh god. Um do I wanna cast Frostbolt in there? Sure. Although my mana is maxed out, so I'm not really getting anything for spending spells. Kill these chaos plague victims. Although they're corrupting me, so I'll I'll fight them defensively. Oh, these aren't plague victims; these are just corruptors. Let's take a look at them. They look kind of like Earthworm Jim. So they corrupted me a fair bit. That was always going to happen because we are a melee class. Sure, I'll take a ring of fire resistance. Never equip strange metal girdles. I'm bloated. When did that happen? Sure, I'll take your potion of potential beauty. I want to get rid of my bloat. The best way is to walk around invisible. It's also just kind of convenient. The bat is following me because using echolocation, it can see invisible. You get less experience for killing things while invisible. Oh, the giant and the quickling are fighting each other. My money's on the quickling. Yep. No quickling corpse for us, sadly. Quickling corpses are quite useful. Not everyone can eat them, though. Oh god, a river level? Thank god I can teleport. Sense a soul in agony. That's a somebody falling on a corruption trap. And there's the corruption trap. Is that a brass amulet? Yeah. Brass amulets, brass bracers, and brass adamantium ring. That's something good, I think. Electrum Bracers. Bracers used to be really hard to find. There was just like no good bracer slot items. Except for artifacts. But a lot of bracer types were added. I'm just kind of waiting to teleport. I can teleport across the river. Ooh, greater claw bug. I thought that was a killer bug for a second. Those are really rare outside of the... That Harvey was swinging a sword at me. Ooh, okay, nothing important there. I'll pick up the cloak for no reason. Ah, 
Heck yeah, pick up the helmet of water breathing. And my boots are not giving me a teleport, so I think I'm just going to have to manually do so. Kitty. Don't hurt the kitty. Don't want to make the cat lord mad. Where the heck are the downstairs at? They gotta be over there, right? There's one more thing I could do. Just dig my way up. Yep, there we go. Okay, we made it to the Tomb of the High Kings. Go ahead and equip our orb. So, I'm going to drop everything I have here. Because the Tomb of the High Kings represents a challenge. Uh, after you meet the Cat Lord, can you then kill cats? Yes. But not while I'm wearing or carrying the Ring of the Master Cat. So, Deep water filled with tiny but cruel looking red fish. We have to get across this pond. We absolutely need to. To beat the game, we need to get across this pond or do some fuckery. And I would rather get across the pond. And we have, luckily, we're able to cast Frostbolt, which can make ice bridges. If our equipment was over 2,000 stones, the ice would break underneath our feet. Which is why I had to leave all my stuff there. And there is the Skeleton King. I should use the Rune Cover Trident instead of my bow. But I don't have the rune cover trident, so I guess we're doing this. I guess we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Skeleton King. We're getting attacked on all angles, but it's not mattering that much. Okay, we destroy the Skeleton King. Now, you don't actually have to fight the Skeleton King, you just have to get him across. Because here's the, a, a platinum ring. This is an artifact, a guaranteed artifact. It is the Ring of the High Kings. Gives you plus two to defense, plus three to damage prevention, and grants resistance to ice, fire, lightning, and I think also acid. It's not that good. Our Ring of Elemental Mastery, which is not an artifact, um, grants immunity to those. <laughs> To those elements but we need it to beat the game so we went up so we had to come here and get it um teleporting to it maybe i think the king the you you depend on if the skeleton king were standing on the ring or not But if you can tell if you can afford to use a teleport so freely, you can probably afford to just use a wand, a wand of cold. Okay, will I be able to teleport up? Yes. This is Kingdom Hearts music happening right now. 
Okay, so we got past the Tomb of the High Kings. Man, am I going to have to do... The Tower of Eternal Flames without a Ring of Fire... Without a Ring of Ice? Well, let's fight this Lone Hydra. Well, I can ignore that for now. Because we can continue doing the Ice Queen's quest. But first, I'm going to check all my loot. Okie doke. Okay. You don't drop those. Okay. Let's check out this plate mail. The Eternium Plate Mail is a little heavier than the Red Dragon Scale Mail. Has the exact, almost the exact same stats. But, I'm going to keep with the Plate Mail. Because it can't be destroyed. I'm just going to drop these cloaks. I have no reason to use them. Or those boots. Hmm. Don't know what that iron amulet is. Let's see. I know I've identified one before. Amulet of the Cold Heart. Okay, that's worthless. The reason it doesn't... The, the Amulet of the Cold Heart could have a different modifier than normal, so it, uh... Bracers of Piety. Mm-hmm. Does make your Piety decrease less over time, but we basically don't need Piety anymore. I guess I'll try out these weapons just in case I find an Eternium something of penetration that's better. I'm unlikely to. I'll try out that... Trident as well. Just a trident, okay. Ooh, what else do I want to drop off? I want to leave my... If I'm going to the Ice Queen's Domain, I'm leaving my... Don't want to fight these guys. They'll corrupt me. I'm going to fight... I'm going to leave my potions and scrolls behind so they don't get destroyed. So my boots don't actually help me very much here. Which means I'm actually going to take them off. Because they... Um... Can't teleport in the Ice Queen's domain. 
So wearing the boots just makes my food go up. So we killed Hagar the Horrible. Which is what the Ice Queen wanted us to do. What am I wearing anything that will become rusty? I don't think so. I'll go ahead and take off my rings though. But my boots let me breathe water. Okay, we also want to take off our helmet. And we're running past the Yetis. To maybe make them afraid of me. Yeti. And we make our way forward. Yeah, there's a lot of ice monsters there, but luckily until you pick anything up, they're friendly to you. In that area, there's a, a bunch of fire enemies come and fight a bunch of ice enemies. Should not have done that. This is the prison area. All these rooms have monsters in them. Okay. This is the windy area. If you're wearing weapons, helmet, or amulet here. I can do this. Here's the invisible stalkers. Eat some more lizard. Okay, we'll talk to the Ice Queen. Agar is dead? Very well, I am indebted to you. Take this reward. Additional, you feel blessed in some special way. Get rid of the chaotic, chaotic wormling in my parlor. So, a bunch of stuff of, cure cor of corruption. That's the main prize here. But we will happily murder someone for her. Because murdering is what we do. Gotta walk around. This quest is going to take not nearly as long to finish as the other one. Because the other one involved a greater vault. Friendly yet, or not friendly yetis, just unaware yetis. Are these yetis or squatches? Yetis. punch that yeti. So this guy, she wants us to kill this guy. Well, let's do that. And he can see us, so there's no reason to wear our invisible stuff. It's not going to be much of a fight. That's enough. Although I will put on the Amulet of Balance, just in case killing a friend a friendly lowers my alignment. Okay. I'll keep on the Amulet of Balance. Oh no, we are living mana battery. That's really bad. I was wrong, that was something of a fight. 
So being a living mana battery means if we ever try to use a wand, all the charges will be just ripped out of the wand. Which we don't want. Which means I'm probably going to go identify these corruption removal potions and then get rid of all my corruptions. Put that back on, get rid of that. Okay. Okay, so the Chaos Diplomat was pretty nasty, actually. I've never really had any trouble with them, but... I guess, uh... Maybe he can be nasty. Yep. Whenever you... Whenever you... Rip the charges out of a wand with, with mana battery, um... You get power points back, and I'm pretty sure being a living mana battery doesn't say reduces the cost of spells. Like, I'll try to uh, note that Frostbolt costs nine right now, and we'll see how much it costs after I reduce it. So there are applications for being a living mana battery, but players tend to rely pretty heavily on wands. And honestly, I could probably not remove this corruption and it wouldn't be a problem for a long time. But the instant I need to teleport on command and a matter, but, a, but am I, I am out of MP, then the issue begins. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a stat bonus for this. They've got 27, 29, 45, mm-hmm. Looks like we got plus two or two a bunch of stats. Kill Hudson Potts the Crime Lord. What's the next quest she wants us to do? All th the reward for this quest she'll give us is the same thing the sheriff will give us for it. So it's the same quest. And we're not gonna do this for a while. But we boosted our stats up nicely. We got a bunch of uh, stuff from... We got corruption removal. We got a bunch of um, artifacts of some very good, some of dubious value. And we got, and we completed most of the Ice Queen's quest. Although we are not done with the Ice Queen. Oh no, we are not done with the Ice Queen. I'm um, debating fishing for a wish. Funnily enough, I want to wish for stealth. The skill. As weird as that sounds. Because the stealth skill would allow me to get some scrolls of corruption removal in a roundabout way. So it would be like wishing for them. But Scrolls of Corruption Removal are a worthy thing to wish for. We're not done with the Ice Queen, but we won't be back for a long time. Let's put on our stuff. Uh, I don't want to do... Let's see what these thick gauntlets are like. These thick gauntlets are very... typical. I don't want to do the Tower of Eternal Flames. I might just have to, though.
My girdle, my bracers, my bow, my necklace would be a risk. First things first, we're going to get rid of this corruption. We're going to do that by... Uncursing. Okay. I drink. I think I might as well. Do I want to drink too? Yeah, I do. I want to drink too. Yeah, see, that didn't get rid of our bronze bones, but it got rid of the rest of the uh, corruption points, so I wouldn't get mana battery again. Okay. Uh, cured corrupt. Okay, cured corruption. Corruptions are tracked by corruption points. And if you don't get rid of all of the corruption points from your most recent corruption, like let's say this is corruption points 1 through 100. This is in corruption B would be corruptions points 100, uh, 101 through 102. If you didn't get rid of all of this, of all of corruption B's corruption points, once you accrued that much corruption, you would get the same corruption again. So by dialing it all the way back, um, I'll get a new corruption the next time I'm corrupted. Okay, I'm thinking about what I want to do next. This honestly might be a good place to call the stream. I'm going to have to do the Minotaur Maze at some point. Yeah, I have until level 30 to do that. And I need to do the Tower of Eternal Flames. It just keeps coming up. But I don't have a Ring of Ice. I could fish for wishes. But would a Ring of Ice really be worth a wish? Man, probably, I don't know. Let's do that right now.
Let's cast Revelation on ourself. Fire resistant, poison resistant, cold resistant, acid resistant, lucky, fate smile, control teleportation, shock resistant, immune to acid. I could lose all of these except for the immune to acid. That I can't lose from the pool. I could also get cursed and or doomed. I could get teleport-itis, and I could also gain resistances, and also drain my stats. Lots of stuff, and I'll put the Ankh on. So yeah, let's go... Drink some... Let's go drink from some pools. In the stream off right. Doing some pool drinking. And it'll be a little bit goofy. It'll be a tiny bit goofy to waste a wish on the stuff I want wishes for, but I have most of what I would want to wish for anyways. Like, I have fire immunity, I have... It would, I'm going. My one of my wishes is going to get me corruption removal. But here's how we here's how we going to do it. I want to take the boots off just so I'm not randomly teleporting in here. Is we come over here, murder this guy. Remember when those guys were scary? But now that I can have a thing of penetration, they just aren't. Getting wasted is one possibility. Okay. I'm going to need a wiki open so I know what happens when I'm drinking from these pools. Okay, we have a roughly 1 in 52 chance of getting a wish. I want two wishes of different immediacies. So let's go. We'll drink from the blue pool. A frog. Ye are the boring kind, aren't ye? The frog leaves. If you're a lady, he gives you a quest. You feel flexible. I think that means I just got petrification resistance? Yeah, I got petrification resistance. You feel cheated. I think I... I lost my lucky... In, uh, I'm, not, I'm no longer lucky. Taste of bitter bile in our mouth. That means it was poison, but we're immune to poison. You feel very bad off. Uh, we lose our fate smiles. We're not doomed or cursed yet. You age. You feel great about your charisma potential. Your outfit suddenly looks much cleaner. That means we can see invisible now. No, he lost permanent invisibility. Okay. Okay, water elemental spawned. Nothing happens, the pool suddenly dries up. Well, let's try again. You become depressive. Okay, that's our sign to leave. You become depressive means we are now doomed. However, we have lots and lots of money. I should take the boots. Why did I put the boots on right away? Perk. So we're not doomed. Um, monsters are much stronger now. There's going to be monsters all over the wilderness. And we're more, much more likely to be critically hitted. And favors from gods cost more. However. You feel spiritually elated.
Okay, so we have to get up to very close, and we'll lose our doomed status. That was us losing curse, I think. You feel a terrible gloom being lifted from you. We're no longer cursed. We're no longer doomed. That's it. So we'll continue on. Giant slug, you'd have been useful a long time ago. We aren't done yet. I'm gonna drink another pool dry and then we're gonna call it a stream. Unless it immediately dries up. Writhing with snakes! You feel slightly strengthened, so our strength was trained. You'll feel very bad off. Which one does that mean? We lost the Fate Smile intrinsic. That's fine. We used our toughness. Great, um, great pure Dwarven Ale. You sense trouble. So we're cursed. Well, we can't get a wish while cursed, I don't think. Let me determine if that's true or not. Is it just doomed that prevents you from being cursed? Okay, no, cursed is fine. We just can't be doomed. So. Because we're wearing the Ankh right now, which makes us have a different instance of lucky and fate smiles. Nothing happens. You sweat. We can see invisible. So you sweat was us losing our fire resistance. We lost our sea invisible. Or nail. Okay, pool suddenly dries up. Well, did not get our wish yet. Which means I think I am just going to have to do the Tower of Eternal Flames without a Ring of Ice. Uh, NetHack, I don't know about. If Medibot is in the chat, do they know much more about NetHack than me? I've been thinking about streaming NetHack with my buddy Adney. Because he is much better at NetHack than I am. And I thought having him along to co-pilot would be fun. We're cursed, so we're getting more encounters in the wilderness. Let's remove this terrible gloom from us. Okay. Fine, it can no longer cast Revelation. Okay. So. Oh, also the key I was using to lock that door broke because we were cursed. Uh, so on that note, um, next time, I think we're just going to have to choke down the Tower of Eternal Flames, which means I want to gather up, I might off camera try to gather up some bows. So I can use them as they burn away in the tower. So we're immune to the fire, but I really don't want to fight the ancient chaos worm in melee range. He'll corrupt the shit out of us. Um, but for now, that's going to be it. Uh, thanks everyone for joining me. Uh, not sure what I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Maybe something weird, maybe something not weird. Don't know. But, right, I need to catch up. Uh, I, need to ke I need to do Vermeyer again on my own. Because on Friday we'll be doing more... Probably the end of Mass Effect. Either the end or the penultimate Mass Effect stream. But for now, good night.